Alright guys, I was asked how to do the kill switches for the amps. So I'm going to do a real quick run through on that. If you have any questions, comment below. Thank you. Alright guys, I took apart my kill switches as you can see. I got the subwoofer amp right here. So if you switch right here, four channels right here, I keep them marked just so I don't forget. Um, basically, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, here, let me get a good picture in here. Let's we'll start with the four channel first. So basically, I run, I run from the stereo to the input on the kill switch, straight from the stereo remote. Then I run, then I have the output back here that's going to the four channel amplifier. Now for the sub amp, I have a jumper right here, jumping off of the four channel switch, you see them doubled up, onto the input of the subwoofer switch, correct? And then I have, I have the secondary switch here, that's going, the, the, I'm sorry, the secondary remote that's going back to the subwoofer amp. So inputs right here output to each amp and I'm just jumping them together i'll show you how and then obviously i i didn't want to drill another hole into the console yet because i probably won't keep it permanent so i usually have them taped like this together with just a decent everyday electrical tape and then i can control them but here i'll show you really quick how it works So you got the music playing, whatever you like. Watch the, watch the blue light so you can really see it. Now watch this. Start with the four channel. Should be that light right there. Now it's just the bass playing. You can hear it. See, just bass playing. I'm going to go ahead and turn back on the 4 channel. Light goes back on. Volume goes back on. Subwoofer. Let's wait for the bass line to come. You can see the light turns off when I slip off subwoofer. Subwoofer's off. Now it's only high. Subwoofer's back on. Want to kill them both? Kill them both. You got no music back on everything. The, re the reason why I'm, I, the voltmeters never turn off is because I have them wired into the actual power and ground inputs at the amp. This is for the subwoofer, this is for the 4 channel. I want to see what, what voltage the amp is actually getting. So I don't, I don't wire it from batteries or anything. These are actually from the amps. Um, I just want it to be a little bit more accurate, but so that's pretty much it. If you have any questions? Like I said, comment below.